Hello, today I'm going to be showing you how to do Operation Sea Lion as the Germans consistently. So you're sitting here, it's January 1940, you've capitulated France, and you want to capitulate the UK. You want to take them out so that you can go and focus on the true enemy, the Soviet Union. So how are we going to do that? We're going to need to navally invade them. Now some people have different opinions on where you should navally invade, so it's my opinion you should set up this naval invasion. Six divisions to encircle Dover, three in the north, three in the south and then four divisions four Dover itself. By landing here, you're gonna cut off the defenders, giving them the encirclement penalty, and also you'll be able to support attack with these divisions. This method works basically every time. I have managed to do this in the Black Ice mod. It is so effective. But the problem is, how are we gonna get naval supremacy? The UK has somewhere between 90 and 120 ships. So how are we gonna get that naval supremacy? Well. One thing to note is intelligence impacts your naval supremacy, which is why I've set my spies to start building a spy network here. Next, I'm gonna take the submarines I've been building and I'm gonna set them to raid the Mid-Atlantic Gap. Why am I doing this? I wanna draw out the British Navy. We're not gonna have any Navy in the channel for now because if you put Navy in the channel, the British will reinforce the channel. Right now, they think this is enough. So with this all set up and the army's moving into position, we're now just gonna wait a month. During this time, if you'd like, you can put your air force over the channel and start trying to bomb the British ships. I'm not gonna do that because I'm not trying to destroy the British fleet. I want their fleet. I'm gonna puppet them at the end of the day. So I don't wanna destroy their fleet. I want their fleet to be just fine so that I can annex them and get their fleet. So it's now February 27th and the naval invasion is ready to go. And I am considering waiting a month. I'm, I'm invading just a little bit too late. There's one thing to note when it comes to how majors are made. Majors are determined at the end of the month. When the month flips from February to March, the game checks to see if another nation deserves to be a major. In the month you take London, you really need to capitulate the UK before that month ends. So if we invade now, we're going to have to rush. If we waited, we wouldn't have to. So right now, I have no naval supremacy in the channel. I don't even have access to the channel set up. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our entire air force and we're going to put them over the channel. And I'm missing a couple planes, a couple planes that aren't nearby, but that's fine. To start, we're going to put these guys on strike force. And then we're going to take these subs who are being very weird. Why don't you have range? We're going to take these subs who have determined they no longer have range. And we're just going to remove their regions then. We're going to set them to the Bay of Biscay, the Western Approaches, and the English Channel. All the while, we're going to have our naval orders ready to go. And if we do this, we overpower the British and we end up with 60% naval supremacy. Just enough to launch. Now we're immediately going to change these guys to convoy escort. Now we're going to let the naval invasion go, we're going to bomb their fleet a little bit, and we're going to find that the British AI has completely failed to defend Dover. That is actually disappointing. I would have liked them to actually be defending that port, but it's the AI. There's a decent chance they were only going to have one division there anyways. So we're going to immediately want to take both these ports. And we're going to want to move up our air force at this point. We'll leave the tactical bombers behind and we'll leave 700 fighters behind. But for the most part, we actually don't care about the channel anymore. And in a stroke of luck, we're pinning it down a good portion of their navy over here. We're now just going to flood in. And we're going to sign a field marshal front line. It's going to have the army. It's going to have these three armies attached to it. And we're just going to flood into the UK. Oh. And for any of you guys wondering what division I'm using, I'm literally using 7 and 2s with full support companies, and I've gone superior firepower just to prove you can sea line with them. And our navy is showing up, and they're doing some things, and London has fallen. We now have approximately one month before India is likely to be considered a major. So we need to push. We need to push fast. And we're going to lose our navy doing this, and it doesn't really matter, because it pinned down their navy, so they didn't actually really attack our ship's crossing. And now that our navy's done our job, we're going to remove its mission, we're going to remove the subs from here, and we're really just going to hope that we get enough supply. Generally speaking, I don't find I have supply problems in the UK. And then it's just a matter of pushing. We have 72 divisions on the British Isles. We are getting some supply. The amazing new supply system means it only ticks down slowly, so if you move fast enough, you can just outrun your supply problems. It's great. So we need to go all the way up here to Glasgow. 
and Newcastle in the east. Glasgow in the north, Newcastle in the east, east if we take all of that in Cardiff. So now it's just a matter of getting there before the end of the month. Am I running into supply problems? Yes. Do I care? No. Have the supply problems mattered at any point in time this entire time? No. And there goes the UK. And because I finished that before the end of the month, India didn't become a major. If I'd waited a month, there's a high chance they would have. So now you can do whatever you want, pass a couple times, take the entirety of the Netherlands, satellite the Dutch East Indies, take the rest of the Netherlands. You know, just take everything. Uh, one thing you're going to want to do is puppet the UK. Scroll all the way down here. Satellite the British Ross, satellite the British Malaya, puppet the UK. This gives you their fleet. Which means the fact that I just lost mine doesn't matter. And then we'll take Luxembourg and all of France. And we're done. We have officially sea lined. That'll work every time. No if, ands, or buts about it. The new supply system actually makes it better to sea lion because you don't immediately run out of supply anymore. It has to tick down over time. And as you move into new areas, you get more supply because you get the local supply. So it didn't matter the fact that I lost my navy. It didn't matter the fact that my navy is sitting here repairing, not protecting any of the trade coming across the UK. It didn't matter. I just kept pushing. Thank you for watching this video. I hope this helps. I hope you enjoyed it. And I will see you next time. If you're watching this video on Saturday, I am likely doing a multiplayer game right now. So if you want to come join on Twitch, I'll be playing as Canada in a non-historical game. I have no clue what I'll be doing. Anyways, thank you, and I will see you guys next time.